Like, like we're not even on that conversation anymore, and I'll blurt the name out. So, do you all want to introduce your characters, or do you just want to start right away? Because, I mean, we are streaming, and people might not know yes. what's going on. That is true. Yes. I mean, what's, what's like, the cam... Like, is there, like, a campaign, like, blurb or anything? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I could do that as well. Uh... Like, we could do the campaign blurb, and then we'll introduce the characters. Uh, let's see... I'm just trying to find the exact one where there are no spoilers. <laughs> ah, ah! It's like... It's like... It's like, man... We're playing the Apocalypse Zone, right? It's like, little did the party know a Beholder was following them. It's like, what? What? <laughs> Damn it! find the exact uh, there's so much like there's so much like oh this is what this character is it's like well, I just want to just do the summary so yeah if you could... I mean like like what are uh, I guess just like what are we doing like okay. right now okay well th this is this is sort of my own thing before the thing because I was like you know let's do this let's just do a little thing let's do a little thing before okay. the keep starts okay okay so I could do this thing quick. happen uh, you rolled for Fang, uh, Fang didn't happen, you die. Ah! Whoops. Don't I get a Thing thing? Uh, okay, roll that for I Fang. Mean saving throw? Roll for Fang. Okay. Uh, nope. Fang didn't happen again, you die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, uh, well, I guess you could introduce characters first, and then, cause then I could just... Okay. So I guess let's I'll, see. Let's we'll do it clockwork <laughs> or clock. Oh god, I must be getting tired again. <laughs> Clockwise. <laughs> we'll do it egg timer. What? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay. Start it. Starting with bed roll number one here. Let's see. Actually, no. Bed roll number two is more is more center with the clock. I don't rate. think he's much of a quiet. I don't think he's much of a talker. Well, we yeah. Start with bed Miles, roll yeah. one goes last. Yeah, let's start with Miles and go. Egg space. <laughs> That's the new word for it. Egg space. It's a, it's a Salvador Dali clock. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can start. Um, my character. Well, first, I'm Chris. Hello. But um, Hi, I'm playing Chris. Miles. He's a Void Soul Genasi tactical warlord. He uh. He's actually somewhat short for a Genasi. He's more average human height, so like five, seven ish, eight ish. Uh, but he's kind of squat and very muscularly built. So it's not so much because Genasi are usually kind of big and hardy. He's not so much big in the height sense, but he is broad. Um, since he's a warlord. He actually has some military experience, and that's kind of why he was on this job. He's he's helpful for coordinating small tactics and groups, so that was why he was, well, how he sold his work when he wanted to be hired by the caravan because he needs money for reasons. Okay. Then. And I am Scott. My character is a tinker gnome shielding sword mage uh, by the name of Dashby. Uh, she wanted to be an artificer at one point, but a certain tragic event happened. Well, almost tragic. Uh, she was able to save the life of her friend by using a very crude form of shielding magic that she now uses to protect her party members. And she's pretty much average height, average weight for a Tinker Gnome, about 3'8". About around there. And as that's about it for now. Uh -huh. okay. Hello, I'm I'm Donnie. Hi, Donnie. You may have seen me from such spectaculars as uh, the Dust to Dust sessions, as well as some other things that I may have forgotten. Man, the typing is making me nervous. <laughs> 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 I just hear this. 
Scott's getting me, giving me a write up. <laughs> he's, he's my stenographer. Yes, no, Donnie. He's, he, Get, no, continue. he's he's yeah, he's he's a stenographer. He we're gonna have an entire campaign uh, <laughs> uh transcript for you guys after the show today. So Donnie, when you murdered the boss of the campaign, how did you feel? <laughs> oh sorry, continue. Yes. Uh okay. My character is uh Philinra Thinblood. She is a uh, well mechanic uh, mechanically it is a half elf, but I just flavored it as a half drow. She hails from the Underdark, and uh, she's an assassin. And uh, let's see here. I drew a picture. But, uh, yeah, her her backstory is shrouded in mystery as she was a, uh, as, as most half-drow are, shunned by the lower societies of the Underdark. Well, you know, well, high society in the Underdark. So she's led a very abusive and sad Life and so she managed to escape from the Underdark and is now uh, g- going along with this caravan as a part of her, as you know, some as a form of employment on the surface world. All right, Beans. what what are people calling me? I I, I don't know. I lose track. Right, am I Jay? I'm Jay now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Jay is just easy. Uh yeah, I'm Jay. I'm playing like a Zeev who was a crooked cop who didn't play by the rules, um, but not, like, in a good action movie way. He is more, like, the guy that, like, gets in the protagonist way, takes bribes, you know, lets the bad guy get away. Um, and, he, and he recently lost his job. Not because he's a crooked cop, because everyone was a crooked cop. He lost his job because, oh, you know, he, turned in, he got bitten by a werewolf and then tried to hide the evidence. Uh, every full moon when he would transform he would just like bury the victims and they were like you know that's not cool that, that's not an okay thing for you to be doing uh, he is also a half elf but he is not half drow he is a normal half elf and also <laughs> kind of racist as fuck um, so that'll be uh, interesting <laughs> No, them nightmares. But, uh, oh yeah, yeah. The racism is already coming through. I'm a normal half elf. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Wolf Cop Two. <laughs> Shots. What class is he? Oh, he is um a hunter. He's a hunter. Roger that. All right. I guess I'm next. Then um, I am playing Leal Calden. Don't pay attention to the the token. That is not his actual appearance. Who's a it's rogue just a... and a half? I'm a rogue and a half. <laughs> I just picked that image because it was the funniest thing, and I'm too lazy to go out and pay someone to make art of it yet. Maybe maybe eventually. Someday you will see what he actually looks like. In the meantime, just use your mind's eye to imagine brown hair, five foot nine, hair's kind of medium, brown eyes. He's he's a gentle he's a gentleman and a businessman. His class is businessman. It is not thief. Whatever gave you that idea? Uh, leather armor, which it's a suit like this is possible with leather armor, which is actually kind of confusing and impressive at the same time. Leather jacket, he, man. Come on, with tweed 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 uh, arm pads. Sure, why not? Um, <laughs> He's, he's out to make money for a singular purpose. He wants to buy a, um, a certain plot of land, a forest, where he grew up, and burn it to the ground. He's got bad memories from childhood. Oh, and, and I'm Captain. I'm from the future. Maybe. Yes. Although I'll probably just refer to him as Anthony. I'm the only one that does. <laughs> yeah, you are the only one that does. I think it's funny. Everybody calls me Donnie. My handle, that D man, was actually a nickname everybody had for me in high school. So it's it's nice being called by my actual name. <laughs> it is a rare thing, and I do appreciate it. See, I am appreciated. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't yeah. get that. Aww. Yeah, for, uh, year, years Aww. years later, I found out they I found out that the guy who was that started calling me D Man did it because he looked up a definition on Urban Dictionary and the definition of D Man was retard. So, 
Well, that I just can't. I I I rolled with the, I rolled with it. <laughs> I, mean, I rolled with it. I I I like the name, but. Anyway. <laughs> well, then. Interesting backstory. I have more backstory than than Felinra does. Well, I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would hope so too. Oh no, I mean I mean within the past few minutes. <laughs> Unless you wrote like a fifteen-page thesis on her like backstory. No. No. <clears throat> okay then. I'm not a I'm not a writer. <clears throat> I'm a drawer. Okay then, let's see. Just no, everyone's okay. Yeah. Okay then. You've been traveling with a trade caravan for some time. Common work for people in your position currently. You uh, are heading towards Restwell Keep, which, as you all know, is on the borderlands. You've heard of fortune and glory that await those bold enough and brave enough to uh, face the dangers of the nearby Chaos Scar, valley carved ages ago by a fallen star. The same tales warn that this Chaos Scar draws w uh, wickedness to it. Perhaps you can stem the tide and gain some treasure as you do so. You uh, have been traveling for a few days now. The journey isn't as long as some that you uh, may have been on in the past. But you were told by the caravan master that it may be dangerous, as there are known to be lizard folk in the area sometimes, and uh, they're not too hospitable to uh, travelers. So you've decided uh, to camp down for the long. night, which is where you find yourself currently. Uh, from some of the nearby uh, caravans where the other merchants are setting up, um, over walks someone else who you've been traveling with, who is also a mercenary. He uh, walks into the camp, just to uh, check up on you. His name is Jack Marius. He is a paladin. What's a I'll paladin? I'll you a wave. <laughs> nice meme. <laughs> What's a paladin? <laughs> then the paladin <laughs> fell. Uh... <laughs> Hi, Jack Marius. I'm Osmataz. <laughs> Buckshank. Oh my god. Okay, he he walks into the camp. And this is my friend Win Wingdings. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> oh my god, no. It's okay. Our other player who isn't here tonight will also get the meme of Jack Marius. It's fine. <laughs> but yes, Jack Marius walks into the camp. Hello, friends. I trust that you've found a good place to stay for the night. I'll give him a cheery wave. <laughs> Just a smile back at you. <laughs> as good as can be found. I suppose it's as good Everywhere as can be Everywhere I lay is a rook. <laughs> oh god! Oh god, that accent! No, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> She's, uh, I, I went with, I went with quasi-Russian. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's from, she's not from Drow Australia, she's from the Drow SSR, so. <laughs> okay. okay, then. Is that, is that, it's more to the northwest than the underground? Well, yes. Well, uh, the U in, in the USSR is, is Underdark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> underdark Soviet States, yeah. <laughs> Back. Oh my god. Well then. <laughs> we're, we're just establishing canon. Okay, yes. But he, um, he continues. It's, uh, been a fortuitous journey today. We haven't seen much trouble at all, so, uh, hopefully, our last few days of travel will see the same. <laughs> well, you say that now. <laughs> Don't be so pessimistic, my friend. Oh, not pessimistic, just realistic. It's more just don't jinx us. You know, probabilities, uh, you know, like... You hear that, 10, Jack Marius? This is on you if this fucks up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all your fault. Okay, then. Yeah, you've, um, you've settled down near a forest for the night. You've been traveling next to it for, uh, about half a day. It's a pretty big forest, from what you can tell, but you haven't actually gone through it. So, yeah, you can... We just kind of, like, skirted the, uh, side of it? Yeah, it's, uh... Okay. It's apparently known to be quite dangerous at night, so you've decided to not go for it, and you've instead followed along the edge, and it hasn't increased your journey by too long of the travel time. Right. During this time, Felinra would have, uh, like, as far as da preparing daily, she would have prepared a uh, Idmos powder for her uh, for her poison for the day, just marking that on there. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, anyway, it's like... Yeah, sorry, I, I just needed to declare <laughs> it's, that. It's, it's like, anyway, everyone is poisoned now. 
Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, Jack Maris just says, uh, well, yes, the caravan master said, uh, he didn't want to stay to near the forest for too long, but he shouldn't be a concern. It's like, um, and the rest of you know the caravan master as, uh, he's just a, a stout dwarf known as Wolfez. <laughs> I combined words there because I thought it was funny. <laughs> he, uh, he's apparently, he's a uh, gruff man, but he's honest, and as far as you know, he's, um, He's travelled this route before with uh, with not much trouble. I still believe we should burn down the entire forest. No, oh. no, don't be so hasty. <laughs> well, it Jack Mary says. Well, Jack Mary says. Uh, well, it, it, I wouldn't recommend that. I'm sure that uh, there are some. There is some good to be found in there. Like what? Yeah. Well, the trees themselves. That's what we'll just have to find out, right? The forest itself isn't evil. It's just what lives there. Exactly. Yeah. Why do they fucking call them lizard folk? The lizard are part I get. <laughs> folk. Like that's like people. Like decent people with a brain, you know. Well, they can speak. Yeah. Well, he we can call speak. that speaking. And if you've ever heard their music, it has this rather <laughs> rustic tang to it. <laughs> I am far too sober to be a part of this conversation right now. It's like, well, you. Uh, Belinda is distracted by the fact that there are trees. <laughs> Whoa, dude. It's like, yes, Jack Marius just makes his way. These moss rooms look really weird. I think I may have. I think I might be on something. <laughs> ah, that's okay, you'll get used to it. Yeah, so you've come down here, you have several carts around you. Mo like, mostly for strategic positions, but they also have supplies in them. Mm -hmm. Best is sitting on the edge of one, like her legs just like swaying back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> like, like swinging. And the you've cart set up, tips. Yeah, you set up your bed rolls and stuff like that. Let's see, it's um... It's about... 10 at night, so it's getting pretty dark. So let's see, um, unless anyone wants to do anything else... Uh, I'm going to rest in the aspect of the Seeking Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird place to rest. I, I'm just gonna rest uh, um, and pretend I'm a Falcon. That That's what I'm doing. So you're gonna be Hawkeye at the beginning of the Avengers? Uh, yes, but like just in my bedroll. So he's kind of like, just, <laughs> like hunched over on his knees, just like staring at things. <laughs> Like, itchy trigger finger, just, like, tapping the edge of his crossbow. <laughs> Leal's gonna spend a bit of time going over all his equipment, because I kind of gave him a lot of stupid stuff. <laughs> and then go to sleep after he's got proper inventory. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I could, I don't know, I guess I'll take first watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have watch, so it's, like, two people on each watch. Uh... Oh, uh, uh, Jack, Mar Jack Maris can go off, so you can all choose which one you want to be on. I'll yeah. oh. uh, go on first watch with Falenra. Right. Okay. Falenra, Falenra can be kind of annoying, unfortunately, as she hums to herself as she sharpens her daggers and then throws them at things. Actually, Dash is just going to sway to the hum. Yeah. Le like, I guess Leal's going to be on second. <laughs> okay. She just keeps throwing daggers. So we have one space. And then collecting them. <laughs> yeah, we have one space on second watch until on she's the third she's, thro she's sitting here sharpening them and throwing them at this wagon wheel. Do watch where you throw those. I mean, they are away from the party, but... I mean, that, that wheel seems pretty sturdy. Well, the, how, yes. Well, I mean, you know, like, I don't think you can flatten the wagon wheel. Oh, no, you can ship it <laughs> off and damage it. Do all sorts of nasty things with it. It's just wood. Right. <laughs> like, sorry, I'm Miles will go this, on third uh, watch. Three is wood. Because his has he has such garbage perception, he needs any advantage he can get. So mm -hmm. second's the darkest one. Usually. Okay then. And then she just starts instead of throwing them, she just kind of she just kind of starts juggling them. 
Okay, does I just want to go first? I'm just going to watch Fascinated. I just realized that technically we don't need to take watches because I have watchful rest. Well, yeah, well, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, no, guys, we totally know what's going on at all times. Ooh, I can juggle those risky. daggers. That was yeah, a dexterity yeah. check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It might be better if you don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Juggle those poison daggers. I start juggling start Dashby. <laughs> I'm playing the most shipper sword mage. Like, I don't think she'd even mind. You know, it's, yeah. so, it's so weird. As long as you're careful. It's so weird because my Xbox game attack used to, it's was like it was like Ashby. It's like oh, every time I hear it, it's like, oh. <laughs> damn it, <laughs> like Lyndon Ashby. But uh, that just reminds me of a story. It moss powder's fine. It's in a flask. <laughs> I'll juggle it in the flask. <laughs> just I just I, that, I'm immune to my own poisons. It's fine. <laughs> like you are. It's like someone on Xbox Live used to just like I don't know why, but they used to refer to me as Ashaba. <laughs> like. Because of my game attack, it's like, what? <laughs> Ashuba. It's like, okay then. Okay. Fine. But, but yeah, our, our hunter says we don't need to take shifts because we know everything. I, su I suggest you do, though, because I don't think you want to be asleep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we, we don't take the minus We don't take the minus five to perception checks, but at the same time. Uh, so, well, I guess. Perception checks are better than passive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might want to be doing that. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep an eye out, uh, but I mean, my my perception is not that great. Mm -hmm. oh, it's decent. I have a minus one to the check, but okay. I'm I'm too I'm I'm kind of distracted by my juggling. So yeah, like, I am it's myself. like it's going to be third, second, or is he just not going to care because he has what watch will rest? Uh, no, he he's going to care a little bit. Um, he'll he'll take uh the second watch. Okay, then Jack Maris is on the last watch with Miles. Okay, so the four of you except Felinra and Dashby go get some rest. So yeah, Felinra did perception. Uh, does Dashby want to roll for perception? No. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no. Roll a two. I'm oh, swinging no, you... to the music and swinging my legs. I'm having a grand old time over here. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, well, Dashby is very entranced in her activities. Uh, mm. Felinra, well, 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 Felinra's doing whatever she's doing. Uh, but yep. she doesn't, you don't see anything suspicious. I mean, the forest is very quiet, but, eh, it's a forest. Okay. She's lived in caves her whole life. She doesn't. She doesn't know if this is good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, Felinra doesn't know what a forest is. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like mushroom cav, glowing mushroom cavern, maybe, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, it's getting to about early morning now. So about one o'clock, two o'clock time. So I guess you switch shifts now. So it's oil yep. and Lycus. I'll just climb further into the wagon and go to bed. It's comfy. <laughs> uh, and I'll um still remain in aspect, mm -hmm. and I'll do a perception check. But aspect it will be... of the sleeping bear. Yeah. I'll just assume aspect. you're in whichever one you said last, unless you say. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Flynn is uh, probably go. Flynn. Flynn is a bit. Uh, I'm sorry. Flynn is a bit uh, on it on edge now that she knows she's going to have to sleep. So she's going to sleep in her armor. <laughs> I'm in leather. It, uh, it don't matter. Yeah. Um, That's leather so, armor. So I'm, uh, it's not going to be that uncomfortable. But so I will roll perception. It'll actually be too higher because of my aspect. Mm -hmm. nice. Oh god. That's aspect of the wow. That's why, that's why I like. Oh, we want the same like thing. Stance. You guys. Well then. <laughs> 14, 1, 24! It's like 26, 26. It's, a, it's always nice having two people who are perceptive. You guys yes. definitely, yeah. You, um. Everything seems fine for a bit, but you notice that shadows seem to cling to the trees in the forest. And and they see, and from your perception checks, you can see that they are moving. Oh, I'm stunned with this already. Told them to burn it down. They didn't listen to me. <laughs> Lyle's gonna pull up a pitcher, uh, a, a pint of oil, in his left hand. <laughs> oh, God. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm just think... gonna start waking people up. Okay, so while you're doing that, I think you should all roll initiative. <laughs> okay. I'm technically prone at this point. Hey, you <laughs> bastards, get the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't wow, payday. Rude. You're not chains. Oh my <laughs> god, one in three. Holy crap, my d20s are awful today. Okay, Jack Marius, you can do it. Aw, oh, damn it, Jack Marius! <laughs> you botched your initiative! Okay, now that's a decent one. Okay, now the enemies that <laughs> Now the rest of the enemies. Yeah, now the enemies are rolling. Oh, <laughs> those oh. Oh, these are not the... <laughs> oh, dear. Wraiths! Wraiths! <laughs> this might not be good. No. Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> We're all I was just like, okay, well, we'll just we'll get our lizard people and then we'll have a grand old time and then shadow form. I was like, uh, <laughs> oh. Oh dear. I feel bad. I feel bad I declared I was prone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's sort I have back problems. I need to sleep on my. I need to sleep on my side. Wait a second. Why did my initiative stick? Now let's see. Uh... I don't know. I can't sleep sitting up. Wait, I'm what, sorry. What you... oh, I'm yeah. so sorry. Six plus four. Let me check your macro. Um, I might. Just, I might. I might know what it is. Let me just check your macro. I can reset it for you. Uh, All right. Ten. But I'm just. Gonna... Where is your macro? Oh, I see what I did wrong. Okay, I've got it fixed. Uh. Oh yeah 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 yeah. You didn't. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I fixed it. Yeah, you've just got to put your initiative score into the thing. Yep, done. Okay. Yeah, I, I manually put my initiative score on there. I don't do the whole set initiative thing, because sometimes I roll initiative before I'm even on the initiative list. So. Okay. Right. So I'll just set your initiative to 10. Uh, 10 point. You're there. Okay, then. Now I'll just resort that. Oh, um, I forgot. I have low light vision on Miss Dashby. So well, to thanks that. to thanks to Leo and Lycus, you guys aren't surprised because they rolled in good, ungodly high. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> they both did. I'm pretty sure you guys are not surprised. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Wow. Okay, then let me just. Thanks, guys. Clear eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it removes shadow forms. Uh, let's see. Let's just. Wow. Let's just. I like the th I like the flavor text for eye bite, where your eyes basically turn into a swirling strobe light. <laughs> it blinds them to only you, though. It's weird. Everyone else is is clearly visible, but you're but you are invisible. It's nice. Uh, invisible. Uh, Dash P is at the back, oh, and with two initiative, this is going to be a great time. Yeah, I Whoa! Whoa. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. How are you? Say so, yeah, you are. Uh, Falinra can see this. No one else can right now. Uh, Polinra, you see... I thought, I thought Miles had, like, low light, didn't he? He might. Lycus also has low light. Like, no, uh, has low as well. Light. I don't think I do. I think you need to take a feet to get this. Think, no, no Gen Geno I have... Half-elves uh, have low light, yeah, so Lycus has low light. Yeah, half-elves have low light, so Lycus should see these dudes. Enjoy Lycus. So Lycus, Polinra, and myself can. Oh, God! <laughs> it's, like, it's like, well, well, snap. Well, well shit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Lycus. Oh, this is uh, this is not good. Lycus, Falinra, and Dashby, you see you've been surrounded. Oh, I there were four of them. Oh, well. well, I would blame whoever was on first watch. <laughs> 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 I rolled high pull? for having minus one to my perception. <laughs> How did you people not see this coming? My daggers. It's like it's it's like Lycus and Leo walked around. Their watch like they didn't telescope. ambush us till now because I stopped juggling my daggers. They were enthralled by it. <laughs> you should thank me. But yeah, you see uh, several shadowy, uh, wispy forms 
glide from the tree line and actually from the other side of the camp away from the forest. And um, you also see like there are just some other figures to the north of you. But yeah, yeah, I guess combat begins. If you want to fight back, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you guys want to do that. <laughs> do you? I don't know if you want to protect away yourself. And it's never seen again. Okay. Um, oh, wait a second. That w this was silly of me. We roll initiative. Yeah, you're a warlord. Oh my <laughs> god. So either Dashby oh. or Jack Marius can shift half their speed. I guess I could too, but. Uh. Does I could use the shift because I'm. <laughs> I feel like I'm just on the back right now. Uh, does Jack want to move? Uh, let's see. Oh, he's down there. Oh, I didn't add his thing. I have to. I have to add their things. Uh, don't worry, I'll just let me just check their initiatives. I had to add them because it didn't add them for some reason. Whoopsies. Uh, uh, presuming he doesn't want to, I will. Uh, yeah, no, shift. Jack Maris is going to stay where he is. He can't actually okay. see any of these things, so he's going to. Uh... What's going on, guys? <laughs> no, no, he, he knows that there's bad stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bad things are happening here. He's not oblivious. Uh, half speed is two. I'll go there. <laughs> Bless you, wow. Okay, you can't marry us. Uh, no. So the whispering. Okay, this small thing is bugging me. Like, I know she's small, but her token doesn't have to be. Okay, 15. I just feel tiny. <laughs> ah, you, you, there is a tiny, there's a tiny <laughs> one too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> try it. I, 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 think it, I think it looks good, the, the small one. Maybe if the but, token wasn't circular, it would look more... I, I think it looks great. I don't know why I didn't add them. Uh, there we go. I mean, again, it's me being a vain prick, but... Oh, the pixels aren't wide enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that everyone should be visible, so if you can't see a token, just tell me. It should be. You can see them all, though. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, first up... No, stop that. Stop it. Um... Why is it not... Oh, it's raining outside. Uh, let's just... Make current. There we go, there we go. Why is it not doing the initiative thing? Why is the initiative broken? What is going on? Well, it's show... Uh, you gotta... You gotta hit the... Uh... Thing. The thing? <laughs> Sorry. That doesn't help. Gotta do okay, it. there we go. Yeah. No, yeah, every. Okay. okay, no, that worked previously. Yeah, it doesn't. If, if they're go. not visible to. If the uh, tokens aren't visible to us on the initiative, it won't give that little. No, I know. I, I know. I was just. It wasn't even doing anything, and I was like, no, I know what I did wrong. It's okay. So, yeah, let's All just. Right. Yeah, we go, yeah. So yeah, we're oh, gonna start. Wow. No, it's not your turn yet. I'm just testing. It's okay. It works. Okay, uh, actually, uh, before the uh, before the combat starts, can whoever has their like dinging sound on, if it's possible, could you turn that off? Because every time like someone does anything, it hears like this shrill ding throughout the entire conversation, and mm -hmm. I, I it's gotten annoying to me over time. It's it just might it... be mine. Let me. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I also have it on, so I'll turn it off. Okay. Let me see here. How do I if you have like headphones, ever... it's. Oh, oh gonna... if, I, if I have headphones, you're not going to hear it. Fictional lover just yeah. pointed out what I said. If you can't see a token, just tell me. <laughs> 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 it's like, Ash, I can't see. It's like, it's like, well, I see quite a few, but I don't see a particular one. It's like, oh, shoot. No, no, Silly. no it should be obvious when I, if I start moving something that it isn't there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this okay. part So first up, Dark Servant wa uh, 1, 2, 2, 2! There we go. Dark Servant 2. He's going to go... He walks into your light radius of those people that couldn't see. <laughs> and he's gonna attack Lil. So yeah, he walks right up to you, Lil. Let's see. Bye. He is going to use his Shadow's Wrath on you. No, he's not. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> he's, he's not. <laughs> okay. He walks away. No, yeah. <laughs> okay. Free, ah. free damage plus five, ongoing five necrotic. Oh! Wow. 
Don't worry, uh -huh. it's fine, guys. <laughs> You'll be fine. I'm sure. I, I believe you, Ash. <laughs> Truly. I know. I, I, I think I, uh, it's, it's like either that or he's getting me back for all the horrible stuff <laughs> I've done to him. It's okay. They'll leave you all alone except for Linra. Yeah. It's like, it's like you just play dead okay. or climb a tree. Fulinra can do neither. It's actually Fulinra's turn now. Okay. Uh, she stands up from prone. She uh, draws her rapier as a free action. She calls out to the dark servant, too, and shouts her insidious commentary at him. Uh, oh, you just Hi. missed him. Ah! Okay. Ah. Well, anyway, she's going to charge at him. Okay. But doom. Yeah. Turns out saying have a nice have a nice day to him is is not a very insidious thing to say. As she just gets up and goes, <laughs> uh, And I'm pretty sure I missed that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, I think we can, uh, Donnie and I will take solace in the fact that our D20s are thus linked by fate, and we will probably not contribute to this fight. Okay. Anyway, that's, that's, that's my turn. <laughs> okay, well, I guess... Right, then. So, let's start killing things, please. He's gonna oh. move. Two. And then he's gonna... Clever shot. Uh, Whisperate three. Okay. I'm pretty sure insubstantial just makes half damage. I can't remember if it gives a bonus to the Yes. Yeah. Just just half damage. Yeah. Yeah, whisper. And I'm gonna knock the wisp prone if I hit. Okay. Cause cause for some reason that's a thing you can do. Yes. You well, if they're hovering they just kinda of float to the ground. But, yeah. Well, no, I'm not. <sighs> Man. Wow. wow, that's Oy. Well, you missed the wisp rafe. I sure did. I sure. I sure did. We're in for the long haul. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, is that your turn? Uh, y yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Wisp Raves. Okay, the Wisp Raves. <laughs> wisp Robes. Okay, so they're all on the same initiative. Wisp Rave 1, he's going to move around to... Well, no, he can fly, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, he's gonna move. <laughs> he's gonna move to. There. And he's insubstantial. Is he insubstantial? He could probably just. Yeah. Or do they? I can't remember if they have phasing or not. Uh, they have phasing. They just pass through stuff. Yeah. Whisprafe. He's going to go to. Uh, there. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, like no. <laughs> hey, Leo. It's okay. Let's shadows caress. Uh, I need an adult. Uh, he probably missed horribly. Oh, he missed. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah Whisper One. He he's he's not he's not good at the things. Okay, Whisper. <laughs> not good at the things. Whisper Two is gonna move over to Dash B. Hi. There he is. He's gonna there do the is. same thing to you. Uh. No. <laughs> sorry, Whisper. <laughs> Whisper like like six. Nobody hits anybody. Indeed, we are level one. <laughs> yep, I love level one. I love level one. I love it. It's so fun. <laughs> it's like, fun. seriously, guys! <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. You have, like, four powers, and you can't use any of them. <laughs> I, <laughs> powers? What are powers? Like, oh, right. I, honest, I, honestly, I honestly like level one. But... Yeah, Whisperafe. It's a nice change of pace. Whisper 3 is going to move up to there. And he's going to attack Leal. No, not Leal again. He can't attack Leal. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to attack Lycus, because Lycus took a shot at him. Oh, well. I was like, oh, thank I mean, Christ. Oh, Shots well, the, oh. that is a thing. Four damage and you That's are slowed. Until the end of the Whisper Race next turn, so just add slowed onto your token. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can actually add this to... There you go, I'll just add that to Anthony. There you go. There's oh, Anthony. how I wish I was in Falindra Square. Oh, man. Oh, it's, it's about to get bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to get real bad. 
<laughs> I'm surprised the Whisper Eighth didn't attack me, but eh, you know, well, su surprised and relieved. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a guy staying next to the fire, who was who was taking shots at him. So, Whisper Eighth Four's going to move up to Dashby as well. So what you're telling me is that shots were fired. Yeah, he's not going to move into combat advantage because I don't think he wants to be next to two people. So he's going to attack. Uh, Thirteen versus reflex. Uh, miss, and I will activate live conditioning. An area your close attack hits misses you, or any attack misses you, uh, have the zero damage, and then I shift up to half my speed, which is two. So okay. we will go up here. Yay! Yay. Okay. It's now. Dark Seven One, because they all rolled close together. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dark Seven One is going to move up to. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He can't move through that tree. Um... <laughs> he is not a. He... Dark Seven Two realizes tree. he is not a wraith. He's going to move up to Dashby because it's the closest person. And <laughs> he's going to. Uh, let's see. Actually, no. Stop. I no. I remembered. I remembered on his turn. Oh no, he's going to do this. Dark Wraith, no, Dark Servant is going to Shadow Shift. Ooh, it's a minor. So yeah, he's going to move to there and shift down one. Oh, neat. Oh. And he's nice. going to attack Miles. Mm. So yeah, Shadow's Wrath. Spend two power points, Lightning Rush. No. You're glad. I'm, you <laughs> should, should be glad these guys aren't attacking with combat advantage. Okay, yeah. 14 versus Fortitude. Uh, that misses. Oh, nice. That's nice. That's STR, Berber. Okay, uh, so he misses you. Okay. That's him. Uh, okay, the shadow form. Out of out of the darkness. I was going to say out of the shadows, but <laughs> we're not doing that joke <laughs> yeah. again. No, no, we've learned. Out of the darkness, this... Uh, I would never subject you to this. <laughs> <laughs> this, cr uh, this, like, uh, it's this shadowy figure who looks like he's clad in plate armor. Although it's hard to tell because he... Is mostly just a, an actual walking shadow. Steps forward and he. Lord Sauron. <laughs> it's Sauron. No, it's not. No. Oh, sorry, sorry. Lord Sauron. <laughs> My and mistake. He's going to walk up to Jack Marius and use his Dark Blade on him. So, let's see. Attack. Dark Blade. Uh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Johnny, did you back the wrong horse? Okay. Uh, let's see. Will he do this? I'm just gonna check. Uh, <laughs> okay. Is this triggered or is it just? <laughs> Everybody's missing. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's amazing. <laughs> the amount of damage that's been done so far. Four. Yes. Uh, the, the, the three plus four seven. Okay. Soon to be twelve. Okay, shadow form. No, yeah, shadow the party form. Party is missing. Use... Where'd they go? No, I mean they're missing. Shadow fo form is going to use dark imperative. He can shift three squares. So he's going to shift down to. He can shift himself. No, what yeah. Was one eye land burst. No, the shadow forms. Uh, oh no, the shadow forms. Like, yeah, sorry, I'm stupid. I am uh, always stupid. It's okay. He's going to shift. Um, the uh, where is it? Dark Servant one two. Let's see. He's gonna shift him down to. Uh, no, he doesn't move him. He'll shift Dark Servant two sideways to there. There. Yeah. And then Dark Servant two gets ten temporary hit points. That's unfair. <laughs> it's like that's unfair. Although that is an encounter power, so he can't use that anymore. You ruined everything I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. Ruined everything in the nicest way. Okay, so yeah, he gets 10 different points. <sighs> uh, okay, and the melee attacks of um, Dark Seven Two now deal free extra necrotic damage while he has these temporary hit points. Yikes. And that's Shadow Form's turn, so he's so sad he missed. Uh, Leal! Take 5 damage, because that's stupid ongoing damage. Bull crap. <laughs> Escape art trick. Uh, actually, no. I, I meant to do to, to tactical trick. It, it gets the same result either way, honestly. But there, I I, I shift two square. I basically move two squares. And I'm adjacent to a person when I'm moving, so I don't draw opportunity attacks. Hey, the dark servant too. 
He's got combat advantage a lot of ways now. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. So, uh, you thought it was funny to hit me. Maybe yes. I'll hit you. Maybe. Probably not. Uh, 12 versus reflex. 14. 14 versus uh, Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, I guess it is, isn't it? Yeah. Does that hit? Oh, yeah, guitars. I, I love guitars. I uh, like Kukri's better, but guitars are more accurate. Oh, uh, you crit. just missed his reflex. <sighs> oh, my God. It's these dice. They're so low. <laughs> it's a stupid guitar. It's all your fault. Why did I burn a feed on you? <laughs> Screw it. I'm doing an action point. We need to do something. You could just do backstab. <laughs> oh, that's actually a very good point. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play thieves very often. Plus three there. Strike from, okay, so you do ten damage. Piercing strike is nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm so glad. I'm, uh, I'm glad you got that human. So ten, <laughs> yeah. ten damage. Ten oh, plus oh. sneak attack. Yeah. Would you like to then add okay. twelve? There you go. Nice. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. So yeah. much for your so much for your extra necrotic damage. <laughs> Why does it have that? Okay, no, it's okay. He is actually down to the right hit points. Let's just ignore that. All right. <laughs> he's actually down to the hit points he's supposed to be at now. And rolling my saving throw. Uh, of course. You've interacted wolves. Oh. Yeah, you gotta watch. You gotta watch those temp HP macros. On on if you, if you're using a template token of mine, <laughs> I have to individually go in. If it's like it's like. Like normally, I don't even bother with it because usually the creatures don't have temp HP. But if you do, like if I do, I have to go in and manually change it. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I did manually change it, but he is actually down to what he's supposed to be at, so it's nice. It's yeah. Fine. Um. Okay. So is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. So we're on Miles now. Miles, you are next to a Dark What'd Servant One. Miles. And next to Dashby. Dark Servant One has a giant one above it. Yes, it is worrisome. Um, check something real quick. Would you like to shift into the arms of the Wispraves? Yes. They want hugs. No, but I am thinking of shifting. Uh, I'm thinking of a white Christmas. Yeah, that's uh. Not dreaming of one though. That's. No, that's. <laughs> I don't dream anymore. I do for a couple hours. One. I, I uh, had a dream that Danny DeVito was a was a flat earther creationist. So <laughs> that was my dream last night. I don't know uh, why. Lil, you're still flanking the Dark Servant too. Why don't you hit him again? Uh, that's a direct uh, strike. Hmm. That's a very nice idea. Thank you for that. Oh my God. Now, nice. That was a great idea. Twelve damage. Um, um, just and Max's well, sneak attack too. And, okay, yeah. So. Good thing too. Okay, so that's uh, ten. That's Twenty-nine damage. Twenty-nine. Yeah. So, Twenty-nine. Oh, nice. Yeah. You, uh, that's... you strike. It's like Qatar. You work again. <laughs> you strike the shadow servant, and it crumbles to the ground. It is you... defeated. Nice job. Oh, yeah, wow. Well, that was a great turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so wow, awesome. you crit, wow, Miles, you crit the Shadow Seven. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> Miles, you were just amazing. Miles is credit to team. You told him where exactly to stick that guitar. Yep. And uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay. It sounded like said guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, That's a good it thing. A Those guys are mean if they get to get combat advantage on you. They're rude. God, there's so many missing. <laughs> then you crit. Okay, so I guess that's Miles' turn. Yep, that's it. Okay, there's Jack Marius. Well, now that the Dark Servant has been killed, he's going to. <laughs> he's done. He's going to face. The... He's just going to give up. No, he's going to face the shadow <laughs> form. Jack Marius, I need to click on your token. Okay, he's going to minor action against the shadow form. It's not grounded. She's going to challenge. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, he hits. 
He hits with divine challenge. What? No, it's a it's a power that enemies have or allies. Well, it's like NPCs actually have to roll for it. It's like, oh <laughs> wow, that's that's yeah. lame. It's okay it's though. Just they... The name of it's just the name of the power. It just yeah. It's not an actual divine challenge. It's just someone forgot that there was a power called divine yeah, challenge. Yeah. <laughs> that's We're it's the name of his sword. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he's marked. It's like a mark attack, but they forgot about the one that exists. Okay, so mm -hmm. fourteen damage against shadow form, except it's half, no. so seven. Yeah, his 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 sword's name is Divine Challenge. <laughs> okay, so Shadow Form takes ten damage and he is marked. Uh, there we go. He's marked by Jack Marius. Okay, that was just his minor action. So Jack Marius is going to use Holy Strike on Shadow Form. Uh twelve versus AC. Uh he misses. So, yeah, that's his turn. Okay, next up is Dashby! Yeah. Uh, Sword Mage Aegis on Dark Servant 1. Okay. And then uh, Shift the Reno and Booming Blade. Actually, hmm. Yeah, no, that, that'd be a better idea, because I don't want to shift into the flank. 23! Uh, let's see, yeah, okay. It's like, yeah, you missed! No, no. <laughs> <laughs> 8 damage, and if, uh, eight when he starts his turn, if he moves away, he takes 1d6 plus constitution modifier thunder damage. Okay, so yeah, 8 damage, good. That's good. Damn. Very good, very good. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Takes 8 damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is my turn. wonderful turn. Dark Servant 2 is dead. Uh, fell in rush. <laughs> Ripping pizza. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do something very non strikery. Uh, Whispraith 1 and Whispraith 3. Echoing Dirge. This is a close blast 5. Oh, that's Warlock powers. Oh. Well, I hit one of them. Yeah, you missed Whispraith the one. one. Yep. Uh, he <laughs> takes... Missily crit. He takes 11 damage, and the target is pushed too. Well, he's dead anyway. So Whispray yeah. for one is dead. You killed him. He dissipates right. into sh into the shadows around him. All right. I'm going to shift up a square, and then I'm going to use my action point, and I'm going to I'm going to quick lunge at shadow form. Okay. So I shift a square before the attack, as part of the attack, and with my rapier. that hit? Uh, yep. Five damage. Target's not prone. Seven damage. He's knocked prone, and I shift back a square. Okay. And then I also, free action, draw my, uh, okay, draw so... my, uh, dagger. So now I'm getting two weapon defense. I forget, is it rounded up or down? Down. What? Damage, if it's halved. It's always down. Oh. down. It's always down, yeah. Okay. There we go. So yeah, seven damage, okay. Three damage, and he's prone. No sweat off my back. It was mainly for the proning, so... It's like you're killing all, all his minions. <laughs> I killed one. <laughs> killing the, but but there's two of them are dead now. Oh, he's so sad. He starts crying shit shadows. He starts crying tears of hyper realistic blood. It's like oh, it's a fan Whoa. fiction now. No, that's my game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just have to find the prone state. It's like, it's like seriously, my game my game would be like a. My game is like a slow motion Danzig uh, vi video. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's 